काम ही यही है ये बड़ो सुना थोड़ा एक स्टेप पीछे सुना एक स्टेप पीछे अबे 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 Hi, good evening everyone. Oh, wow, it's Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome to the post show conference for the label by Ritu Kumar. We have Amrish who is the CEO of label and we have Ritu Kumar who is the head designer of and we have of course Kriti Sano. Uh, could you both tell us about the collection, about the inspiration? The straightforward purpose is that I thought that Indian fashion should also be in the realm of a non-bridal and a non-couture area. Uh, and it should also, the younger generation cannot access and cannot wear. And here it is an attempt at make, making a homegrown collection with some soul in it, which could be Western, it could be Indian, but definitely we would like it to become international and go across the board to every age group. Um, are we going to ask questions or how does this work? Huh? Uh, okay. Um, so, just to just to add on, just to add on to this, uh, you know, the we found that the obviously we're we're seeing a shift in India of uh, of age and generation and how people uh, dress, how they how how. Uh, how our culture or our art forms, the cultural art forms are, and label is supposed to be for that younger audience. It's supposed to be uh, an international brand that is um, in from India um, for a for the 20 to 30 age group, and of course, uh, it 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 borrows. Huh? Why what? Uh, sorry, for anyone here who was <laughs> about that. But uh, it obviously borrows from the uh, the heritage of the Ritu Kumar brand. But as you saw today, it is a it's a different type of uh, fashion expression. Well, um, I would firstly just want to congratulate uh, them because the collection I feel was fab. Um, it's so young. It's uh, very easy breezy like easy wear comfortable um and uh, it's it's got its femininity it's got uh, this slight spunk it's got uh, a slight edge to it it's got uh, a slight boho feel to it which i absolutely love and uh, yeah i think uh, uh the whole theme that today's show had uh was uh, uh, also mixing it with slightly um, i think sporty making it a little more we had this tennis uh, ramp and we had uh, tennis balls and uh, a lot of accessories which made the whole uh, uh, collection a little sporty and a little funky and uh, yeah, I would love to wear something like this any day uh, in my regular life and that's, I think, uh, I think every uh, young girl would love to wear this and uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed walking the ramp uh, for the show. And yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. But it is meant to be a compliment. 
Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, the Delhi connection. The Delhi I think she didn't even know till you mentioned right now that I'm from Delhi as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, uh, uh, was, was it about like choosing a city for the uh, as a showstopper? Well, I think she is actually uh, epitomizes the new generation. This is the young Indian and uh, fits into the collection very well. And we were very happy that she could work for us because it actually underlines the fact that this is not only meant for a kind of person, but it's a, it's a new India. And I think she um, demonstrates that. Pretty finally, we are uh, like able to see you in flash because we are used to seeing you on the Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> हाँ मुझे पता है मैं बहुत टाइम से गायब थी लेकिन मैं शूटिंग ही कर रही थी आप लोग मुझे बहुत हॉलिडेज पे भेज चुके मैं एक भी हॉलिडे पे नहीं गई हूँ आई स्वेयर पता नहीं यार मैं तो अपनी बहन के साथ बैठ के चाय पी रही थी जबकि आप लोग बोल रहे थे मैं थाईलैंड में हूँ सो आई रियली डोंट नो बट आई वाज शूटिंग एंड वी हैड अ ग्रेट स्केड्यूल इन फैक्ट वी हैड टू रियली लॉन्ग स्केड्यूल्स एंड द वर्क वेंट वेरी वेल एंड वी शॉट सम फैबुल स्टफ सो या दैट्स दैट्स अबाउट इट आई नो आई हैव बीन मिसिंग इन एक्शन हियर एंड इट्स रियली ग्रेट टू सी यू गाइस बैक अगेन I think uh, uh, trends को मैं follow actually नहीं करती हूँ uh, लेकिन I think style जो है fashion जो है it's very personal I think uh, ज़रूरी नहीं है कि अगर कुछ trendy है तो वो मुझ पर अच्छा लगे या मुझे अच्छा लगे पहनना so I think it's more about how you feel in a garment how uh, you look at yourself in a mirror and you like it or you don't like it so it's very personal I feel and uh, yeah of course if something uh, is in ya kuch trendy hai or uh, wo aap pe acha bhi lag raha hai then why not Prithu ji like dancing here yeah from my sorry from okay Actually, in reality, uh, nobody, as she says, really dresses like a, fact, a fashion victim. We all, uh, particularly in India, I find people are finding their own dimension. They are finding their own space. They are finding their own kind of loungewear. And actually, the collection perhaps was a reflection of that. Uh, we also are not uh, following Paris totally. Neither are we following Italy. I think. Uh, if uh, there's an evolution in india with the younger people who are finding a dictate which is coming from their lifestyles from the climate they live in and from the culture they have uh, inherited you would have seen a lot of prints but they were toned down they were hand blocks they were things that we all relate to but we don't want to wear a sari perhaps in that mm -hmm. so where did it come from and why uh, i think it just evolved i think amish would tell you a little more it's very difficult to know where something begins when you do a show actually there was no one day where we woke up and said that's what we're going to do i think over a, it, it happens over a period of time and then you start seeing what you're developing and then you start making stories in your mind as to how you want to represent it so that started to happen a couple of months ago and this is the theme we we saw as our story we we think sportswear and is easy to wear it's fun it's young and that's that's how it happened i hope that answers your question I think if you look at it uh, in detail, I, we didn't objectively look at that, but each and every fabric that we've used there has been very well researched. It's not something that you can just go and pick up from no nowhere. As I said earlier, there was an identity still within all the garments that you saw, all the fabrics and the prints that were put together. They were put together with thought, uh, maybe minimalized much more than we have seen in India because that is the way I think the younger person wants to dress. I think it was very anti, uh, not anti, but not too dressy. It, it was underplayed. It was a little more uh, grungy, bohemian, whatever you call it, which is the actually quality of Indian prints. We never really had them too loud. Uh, 
that is printed as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have a little bit of a handwriting. Yeah, that's an evening dress. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, any particular reason why you decided to, you know, uh, give this one to her? And uh, following that, I'd like to hear from you, Preeti, how you identify yourself, what's the role of sports in your life, and how has it inspired you? What's the connection between sports and fashion? You want to take you that? You asked too many questions in one Goa. We've all forgotten what you asked. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you've asked something to her, which I've... Uh, the first question was, the why, see? <laughs> why did I use so many prints? Is that what you're saying? No, why did you choose this particular garment uh, for me? See, I, I think in uh, everything we do and what we are very rich with in India is our wonderful relationship with crafts. And I think if you don't use crafts in our collection, you're actually doing your collection a disfavor. The craft may not scream at you, but it definitely is there. You would have seen tone-on-tone -tone embroideries, some subtle kind of detailing. And uh, that is one of the pieces that we have, which has one of the nicer detailings that we have in Bling in India, which is uh, Ari work. So I, that's why I think it was chosen. So you're going to be a revivalist, so that's the reason That is a very good question. <laughs> What was my question now? You remember? You're, you're, you're basically sure. relying on my memory, huh? No, so uh, basically what's the connect? How do you relate to this uh, particular outfit and your inspiration and connection between sports and fashion? Well, this particular outfit, I feel, is something that I can wear for an evening um, outing or probably a, a evening party with friends or something. Uh, I think it, it's got this slight Indianness to it, but at the same time, it is slightly Western, so it's a good mix. Um, also, it's, uh, I think it's stunning to wear, it just fits me perfectly um, and uh, I love the way it's been styled, you know, I've been given this headband and you see this, uh, these bangles, these metallic uh, bangles which actually sort of look like a chuda also if you see. So, uh, in fact, in all the collection I think uh, they had used uh, wristbands uh, to give a feel of a chuda which is more Indian but they use something a little more sporty to make that. Um, and as far as your question of sports and fashion, see, I remember, <laughs> is the concern. Um, well, I think uh, these days we all, I mean, I really love mixing things. I don't like, you know, when you're wearing a little bit of, like a, if I'm wearing a boho dress or something, I would love wearing sneakers uh, with it or just adding a little bit of uh, a sporty element to it. So uh, I think uh, these days it's, I mean, I love mixing a little bit of Indian, Western sports into what I wear, it just, um, it's just funkier, I feel. <laughs> Thank you, that's it, that's it, no more questions, that's it, no more questions. I said no more questions. I'm very excited, it's uh, looking really good, uh, the trailer is looking fabulous and uh, Sushant has done a great job. Uh, I am not so much of a sports person, uh, so I can't uh, pick out details of the mannerisms that he's probably picked up. Uh, but uh, I'm, I've, I have a lot of friends who are sports fans and who are uh, Dhoni fans. So um, I know that he, he's worked really hard and the film is looking really nice. And MS Dhoni is someone whose story I think I would love to watch. Okay, that's it, that's it. No more questions. That's it, photo up. That's it. Guys, one janta bite. Everybody together. Thank you. Rolling? It was fabulous. I think I didn't even get to know when the walk started and it finished. Uh, it was a very peppy show. It was uh, young, all the clothes, the collection was fabulous. Um, I loved her idea of the ramp uh, being almost like a tennis court and uh, with these tennis balls there and even the collection was amazing. It's very young and very wearable. Well, I am a model, so for me, it was, uh, it's, uh, it's always easy. Uh, yeah, it's always a cakewalk. Uh, but at the same time, I think every time you go on the ramp, that little bit of nervousness is there regardless. Because uh, it's 
अभी इन फ्रंट ऑफ कैमरा वी गेट अ लॉट ऑफ टेक्स बट हियर इट्स लाइफ एंड यू नो यू कैन मेक मिस्टेक्स एंड ऑब्वियसली यू वॉकिंग फॉर अ डिज़ाइनर यू वेरिंग समन्स क्लोथ सो इट्स सॉर्ट ऑफ अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू मेक दैट लुक गुड सो या वेल बींग कल कन्फ्यूज तो मैं भी रहती हूँ बट आई मीन आई टेक टाइम टू चूज माई आउटफिट बट आई थिंक माई फर्स्ट थिंग इज इट शुड बी समथिंग विच लुक्स गुड ऑन मी ऑन माई बॉडी टाइप ऑन माई बॉडी फ्रेम इट शुड सूट माई बॉडी फ्रेम and uh, i should be very comfortable because when i'm stepping out or whatever you know if you're not comfortable it shows so i think it needs to be something that i don't have to bother about after wearing and what is your go to wardrobe go to wardrobe piece is denims and a kanji is like the most simplest and these days boyfriend denims are even more comfortable it's about the about their film ka barel ki barfi guys i'm really sorry but at this point in this event i would not want to talk about films uh, probably some other time so what कृति कैन कम फॉर 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 कृति क